I'm going to show you how I insert mathematical symbols into Microsoft Word. I'm using uh, today Microsoft Word for Mac 2011. The first thing is we're going to actually turn on a, a Mac function, an Apple function rather than a Microsoft function. And we do that in System Preferences. So however you start System Preferences, um, I'm using here uh, OS X 10.10 .10, if it looks slightly different, but the method is the same. In System Preferences, there's a preference uh, pane for the keyboard. And at the end here, there's Input Sources. Now, if you don't have this one, Unicode Hex Import, then you can add it by pressing plus, going to Others, and it should be there to Add. The other thing you need to do, so I've got Australian and I have Unicode Hex Import, is to click Show Input Menu in Menu Bar. And that's added a U plus icon up in my Menu Bar. That's the first thing you need to do. Uh, makes it very helpful. Using that new menu item, you can show something called the character viewer. And you can see here there are stacks of symbols that you can now use, obviously, for maths. Here's all, well, lots of mathematical symbols. And you can simply drag them into uh, a document. Uh, m pretty much every application on the Mac. Uh, there's some other things good for math teachers there. So digits, if you want some fancy looking numbers to uh, number questions, you've got superscript and subscript if you're tired of using the buttons. Uh, there are little fractions there. There's Greek letters. Okay, so that's the first thing. I'm just going to go back and put the uh, time symbol in because I'm going to use that in a moment. In Microsoft Word, there is under the tools menu something called autocorrect. Uh, I'm going to come back to this section in a minute, but there's this uh, math autocorrect is a very handy uh, thing for math teachers to know about. Math autocorrect means that you can write uh, some symbols or a word with the keyboard and it will automatically convert it to a symbol which is not on the keyboard. Now the first thing you need to do uh, to make this even more useful is check this box which says use math autocorrect rules outside of math regions. Now if I just scroll down here to the letter T, okay, maybe do that a little faster, uh, you'll see that slash times gives us the time symbol. So what happens in, let me just go back in here now, in a Word document with that enabled, if I do slash times, and keep writing, it auto-corrects it, like it does for when you spell the wrong, uh, into a multiplication symbol. Uh, you can do other symbols as well, and you know there's the big list in there. You could pull out the common ones that you use and write yourself a little cheat sheet. That, however, slash times is six characters, and I think that for some of the key symbols that you use, there's a better way. My preferred method is still using autocorrect. This time I'm going to write a shorter version for me, which is bracket asterisk bracket to insert a time symbol. Uh, over here with, I'm going to paste the symbol that I had uh, copied a moment ago and just press add. And you can see I've done that for division. I've put um, bracket DEG there for degrees. So now back in Word, I do bracket, asterisk, bracket, and it gives me a time symbol. To me, that's the quickest way that I can find to insert uh, the time symbol because you're now just using it as part of your typing.